I'm sure you and I are the same way. Like I have no problem going into an audition and being rejected, right? Not getting it. Oh, I've done Based that a hundred times. Whatever. I mean, it happens to all of us, right? We go in, we give our best. We're not the guy. Maybe it's a look. Maybe it's our read. Maybe it's the casting director or the producers having a bad day, whatever it is. But the one thing that I would think hurts the most is being fired off of something, getting something, being on a set, being around your peers, and then going, yeah, you know what? This isn't what we wanted, and then being fired. That Have you be been worst. fired? Have you been fired? <laughs> uh, the only one that I remember being fired for was a commercial. I believe it was for like Whammo or something like that. <laughs> and I got fired off the commercial. My my consolation prize was like a box full of toys. But uh, you'll, you'll like this. Um, I was replaced by Paul Walker, who wow. at the time, like Paul and I would were the two blondes in the uh in the industry at that time you know we were probably eight or nine at the time and we were the the guys that would do all the commercials if you needed a blonde kid it was either paul walker or mark paul wow <laughs> you know i remember i remember getting fired uh it was only the one time i got fired but they they made me the offer it was uh a will ferrell and uh mckay uh show oh uh, nice big top show and they just made me an offer and I had a meeting and they made me an offer and I went in and the whole time they're like, you're killing it. We're watching dailies. The director's coming up to me every day. Oh my God, you're killing it. You're killing it. You're killing it. We ended up having a screening at my house of the show with the cast and everybody. And then two weeks later, they called me, the producer in tears and said, well, the good news is, I mean, they want to pick us up for five episodes, but we have to let you go. They want to replace your character. They think your character is too dark and says the wrong shit and and i was like what we just screened this at my house and every day you're telling me how great i am and it just shows you how it all is bullshit you just you never know when it's gonna happen and i, I was just like holy fuck they just let me go i've never been let go and it just it is crushing but then i remember sitting in my office and kind of looking outside going all right you're alive breathe breathe you got a dog here i love your dog you love your dog you got a house you're lucky to be here i started to you know these affirmations the reaffirming that you know hey you know you're okay you're gonna be okay but it was it was it was tough to be let go especially off like your heroes will ferrell and like you know wow i'm gonna be really working with will ferrell it's his show and look the show never made it to air uh they never even shot those five episodes but still that feeling i had was like here was my chance. You know, Adam McKay wrote, wrote me an email. Hey, it was nothing you did. I'd love to work with you in the future. Of course, that never happens. How many times do you hear that? Besides Botchko telling you I want to work with you and it actually happens, it almost never happens. Has that ever happened before with you? 